what I'm doing here is uh, re revising a blue tarp for my boat. And what the deal is, uh, the boat is uh, shaped, you know, like this. So I want the tarp to be eight foot in this part and six foot at that part and a length of 12. So I got a, I bought a, uh, <coughs> I bought a uh, 12 by 8, so I'm cutting this back, and I'm listening to Stevie Ray Vaughan, except I can't have the sound on, um, because, uh, you know, it's copyrighted, but uh, it's like this, from the library, man. So, they, I would recommend you do that when you're doing your tarp. So what I did was this end I want six feet so I folded it back a little bit here and then put new grommets in so that it would keep the shape so it's three foot now. This one here is still four foot so I'm going to go ahead and turn it over and do that side now. Alright so you <clears throat> Um, so I've got it folded in place and temporary taped. Incidentally, I looked into uh, some kind of glue that would stick to the, that would stick this together, and it just uh, seemed pretty much impossible. Uh, what would I do with that cutter? One of the big problems is keeping track. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay, so you put this little piece down first. This is real easy. And then this has kind of got a cutter head on it. it wouldn't hurt if it was a little better, but this stuff is cheap. You might be able to get a good one paid more money, I don't know. So I got my hole. Take this anvil thingamabob. And then uh, you put a, one of these uh, bottom parts on it. <coughs> this fits through the hole. It sits right on this anvil like that. Fits through the hole. This is, this is easier than it looks. And you put that on like that, and you, then you got this swaging tool, put that on there, wham it, and it's, it's a grommet. I'll just keep doing that up the row here, and then when I, <coughs> incidentally too, when I, I don't rely on this blue tarp uh, for really for rain protection because it tends to deteriorate rapidly. What I do is I put a, I put a, um, I put a black tarp on top. <laughs> put a black tarp on top of the blue, uh, uh, black plastic. I have some heavy black plastic. I'll put that on top of this blue, and that will protect the blue. Um, from deterioration and shed water as the blue deteriorates but the, so the only thing the blue is really good for is to provide that the extra strength that that black plastic would stretch you, you can't put a grommet in it really and uh, it would just stretch and stuff so it's a two ply system so here we are at the boat and uh, I'm going to change it out. Uh, this is, here's the old plastic. I could, I've got, I need new tongue depressors. I've got a whole box of them somewhere. But I don't, I couldn't find them just now. It's hard to, hard to keep track of them. But we'll get it done for the most part. And then, uh, and then uh, I can come back later. And, these will still work. They're just kind of old and deteriorated. 
this is my system for, uh, you know, I have the black plastic, every kind of plastic on top of the tarps. These tarps, they don't shed water after a while. See, the main thing wrong with this one is right, right here, it's just really starting to completely deteriorate. This one here, I, um, see, I did it this way. I got a six, this one's eight by, I think six by eight and six by six, I think they are. And then I grommeted them together in the middle like that, which worked okay. But of course the new way is, I think will be better. So you can see the real key to my system is this um, gable, uh, gable, so to speak, I've got here. And um, I know gable's the right word. But it, uh, it's a roof peak. And uh, <clears throat> I just have this, there's that bolt there comes out and uh, then it's just sitting on the floor there. And then of course it's sitting on this front part here. And the same thing, this bolt comes out and it's a one by six uh, treated. Works, works well. And uh, <clears throat> these windows leak. You know, in theory this thing um, <clears throat> can shed the rain. But the fact is these windows leak and you just can't have, uh, as I've said before, that was leaking, but I fixed it. Um, but you just can't have that thing leaking, or you can't have it. <clears throat> when you got it in storage, uh, you just can't have it getting wet on the inside. So I've got it on there. This, of course, is the six foot part. This eight foot part. Looks like this could have been a touch shorter. But uh, I'll get it on here. And uh, tie it on. Another thing is I could have has been keeping it dry and uh, also it has the wind hasn't blown it off which makes me worried now that I say that. I've been doing it this way for a couple of years. 